Hey guys, it's Ryan. Welcome to this home decor DIY. Today we're going to be making a napkin holder. I'm going to first start with the, making the template. I'm going to be using a piece of paper, my pen, a napkin just as for reference, and I'm going to draw a coffee mug, drawing that like a C. Then I'm going to be doing the holder, which is going to be like this, pretty simple. And I went back and forth until I was satisfied with the shape that I had. And I just went online as well for inspiration as far as shapes go. If you have a cookie cutter dough that is this shape, just go ahead and use that. I didn't have any cookie cutter like that. So that's what I had to do the template. Then I'm just going to be cutting that with my scissors. And this is pretty much the template. Now I'm going to be using some wax paper because I'm going to be working with some area clay. And then I'm just going to roll it. Then I'm going to be placing my template. I'm just going to go and cut that with my exacto knife. You can use scissors as well, I just find this easier. And at this point my clay is still like super flexible and hasn't dried yet. And I find that a lot of people may be intimidated by like air dry clay and honestly super easy to work with. It's like Play-Doh. If you ever done something with uh, Play-Doh, it's pretty much the same like the same way that you work with it. I got mine at Michael's, but you can get it online. I'm going to link below where you can find it. But yeah, I'm just going to be cutting this like uh, the template of the cap and I'm just going to be doing this twice. So I need two coffee mugs to make this two coffee mugs stand. I'm just going to be creating a plate sorta. For that I'm going to be using more clay, but this time I'm going to be working with this cookie cutter that I got on a set of a, like a bunch of cookie cutters, like plastic ones. I got them like places where they sell baking stuff and then I'm going to be using this smaller cookie cutter to cut a hole in the middle like a donut because I wanted my clay to breathe but then I'm just going to be working on some like details for that I'm going to be taking this smaller cookie cutter you can use this as well but I'm just going to be pushing this a bit I'm not cutting it all the way through I'm just going to make a mark in there simulating this a plate and then I'm just going to let the whole thing dry for 24 hours I'm going to be using some super glue I use this brand it's the first time that I tried it and I like it it's going to be gluing coffee mugs on like the plate or the base I'm just going to be plain and simple and I'm just choosing black acrylic paint and this brush and yeah I'm just going to be covering the whole thing in this lac and I didn't do anything as far as more design or just adding something else with it and that is because I feel like it's it's good enough but again if you want to you can get more creative with this you can go ahead and decorate it with phrases like but first coffee or a hard coffee coffee forever but as I mentioned before I wanted to go for something plain and simple but yeah this is pretty much what it looks like everybody knows how to play napkin on a napkin holder but just so you know how the whole thing ended up looking like and yeah this is pretty much the design I wanted to share with you I made actually another like napkin holder kind of thing and it's on my channel and another one is coming because I need another one I actually got inspired to create this from an idea that I saw online if I can find it I'll link it below I thought it was really cute and something really unique really appropriate for the kitchen as well but yeah hopefully you liked it if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel for more stuff I upload Wednesdays and Saturdays and click on the bell Thing. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later and take care. Bye guys!